Hello students, welcome to Kintu Institute. So today we are going to discuss another international organization which is your Amnesty International. So Amnesty International is an NGO. Now what is NGO? It is a non-governmental organization means no government or no political party is a member of this Amnesty International. So it is an NGO that campaigns for the production of human rights all of the all over the world. We all know that United Nations itself is working to you know establish uh, to establish uh, human rights all over the world it works uh, to check that whether the human rights are being violated or not so there is one another independent organization also that this is our amnesty international it is working towards the protection of the human rights okay so what are these human rights so human rights can be your social rights it can be your political rights or it can be your economic rights and it is believed that these human rights are indispensable in nature. These are the uh, you know basic rights that the human must have. So they work towards the protection of these human rights. Okay? It promotes respect for all the human rights. So it promotes ki bhai sare jo human rights hai, it must be respected in the universal declaration of the human rights. Okay? It believes that human rights are interdependent and indivisible. So it is said that uh, uh, these particular human rights are interdependent. If you are giving political right to someone, then eventually you would be contributing towards establishing social uh, right also. If someone's social right is violated, then their economic right is also violated. Let's say, for example, let's say for example, uh, let's say in the social right, in the social right, you have all the right to get education in a public school. Right. But let's say because uh, uh, someone who is belonging from a lower caste, he was barred from entering that particular educational institute. So that means the social right of that individual is violated because socially he would have been allowed to enter any kind of educational institute he want. Okay. But his social right was violated. For that reason, he could not attain education. And now since he is not educated enough, will he able to get employment in the future? Certainly not. So that's how because he does not have any kind of employment, his economic rights are also violated. His economic rights are also violated. Right? So that's how it is said that by all the human rights are interdependent and indivisible. You cannot separate one uh, right from another right. Okay? So that is the meaning of the statement. It prepares and publishes report on human rights. So this Amnesty International is responsible for conducting surveys, for conducting research, for uh, you know checking out the situation in different countries on the world level. So it publishes report on human rights. Like what is the condition of human rights in different country? Whether the government is giving granting rights to these uh, to its population or not. Okay. So obviously the human rights reports are exposing the actual condition because it is an NGO and no government influence is there on the Amnesty International report. So certainly it would be criticized by the government. So that is how the governments are not always happy with these reports since a major focus of Amnesty is the misconduct of the government authorities. Right? So it always highlights that by in this country the government is not working properly. Uh, the government is you know misconducting or misutilizing its uh, power. Uh, not working in the welfare of the uh, population it is violating the human rights right so that is why always the report of amnesty international are criticized by the government nevertheless these reports play an important role but of course these reports play an important role in research and advocacy on the human right because it, it really gives us the actual understanding of the human rights the status of the human rights Taki, we can actually take certain steps like yes in this particular country the human rights are violated on these grounds so these steps need to be taken okay so that is all about amnesty international i hope the video was clear to you thank you so much for watching